Hi. In a multiple time series problem, how do you determine whether a variable is used in forecasting the target variable? Now take for example, how do we ensure that temperature is useful in forecasting the energy usage in a particular household? How can we ensure a demand cycle is useful in forecasting a product production capacity? How do we ensure a, a temperature is again uh, useful in uh, predicting or forecasting the number of pollutants in the air? Now, if you take a typical machine learning feature, which is not time ordered, you can typically use a correlation test to determine it. Or if it's a categorical value, you can use a chi-square test to uh, determine it, right? So how can you do it on a time ordered time series data, right? This is, that is where Granger's causality test comes into play. Now the Granger's uh, causality test, it is a statistical hypothesis test for determine whether one time series is useful in forecasting another. And the reason you need it is when you talk about multivariate time series, but it's, it's by itself hard. You don't want to throw in all the variable to forecast an outcome because you also need to predict the future outcome of the uh, dependent variable over here or the independent variable over here. So it's very important that we understand whether that variable is really statistically important to forecast the target variable. And that's where this test comes into play. The idea over here is to measure the ability to predict the future value of a time series using prior value of another time series. So if you see, uh, if you to give an example, right, if you see this X and Y variable, the X is the input variable and Y is a target variable. Think like X is the temp temperature and Y is uh, kind of a variable to, to predict or to forecast energy usage in the household. Now, how can we determine that X is useful in forecasting Y? And that's where this test comes into play. So basically, if you see over here, uh, what is happening like the X, uh, the lagged value of X, as a pattern with the output variable y. So the y spikes out just in the in, in, in few prior lags of x variable. So say like x variable was uh, at one o'clock, the temperature was uh, say like 120 degree, like Fahrenheit. And uh, the energy usage typically like uh, as the temperature goes higher, after some time we realize, okay, we need to switch on the AC or increase the AC. So there is a lag determinant over here in the target variable y after the X value has occurred. And what Granger's text does that is basically runs a statistical test to understand if a lagged value of X causes a Y. And that's what we are going to check how to do that in Python. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is say, I'm going to import a set of variables. I'm going to use pandas to load my data and matplotlib to visualize the data and numpy is just to uh, prepare the data. Uh, rather like prepare the output of my statistical uh, test right so i am impo i'm kind of loading all the uh, packages and then i am downloading the data from my github repo this is an appliance energy usage data set now this data set is also than the uci repository but it has like a lot of features so what i have done is i have trimmed down into selective features so that it's easily for us to visualize and also see the output so now let me run this and let's see the output. So in this case, it's an energy usage data set. This is the appliance usage per household. The data set is recorded every 10 minutes. And then the other variables that we have is light use, lights, energy usage, how many, uh, how much of kilowatts is used for lights, how much of kilowatts is used for other appliances. There are variables like outside temperature, pressure, uh, humidity, wind speed, dew point and visibility. So when we de define a multivariate time series model, basically we feed in all this data to predict appliance in this case, right? Uh, but how do we know like temperature causes appliance? and pressure causes appliance usage higher, uh, humidity causes apply. So that's what we are going to run the statistical test, the grandeur causality test. And when you say causality is not a real causality, it is just like an, uh, just like a dependency of over here to determine whether X causes Y. It is not in strict uh, causality, like where you measure cause and effect of a variable, right? So this is how our data set is. I'm going to check for two variables. I'm going to check if temperature causes the appliance energy usage to go higher or uh, lower. I'm going to check if visibility causes the temperature uh, appliance usage to go higher or lower, 
right? So now I have the data set. First thing I'm going to visualize the data set. So what I've done is rather than visualizing individual variable, I have just created a function over here. I am just loading some color list so that every graph is different color. Otherwise, what will happen is by default, pandas will put it in blue color. So I'm just uh, loading a color list. I have created a visualize function where I am reading all the columns uh, from the data frame. So I am telling like uh, data frame dot select wherever it's a number, get all the columns and then I'm iterating through the uh, column and then print creating a plot out of it. So let me run this. I am doing a visualize DF calling this function with the data frame. So it will read all the columns and it will create plots. Now, if you see like this is how the plot is. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is how the plot is and you can see basically over here, I have the appliance usage. The appliance usage is higher during the January, February month. And then it's kind of, uh, it's kind of like uh, normal or flat, right? Uh, but typically January, if you, January, if you see the temperature is pretty higher and maybe that's why the appliance usage, uh, appliance, uh, yeah, kilowatts are pretty higher light on the other end it's pretty stable right maybe during the winter the lights usage are higher but after that during the summer it's pretty flat right and if you see the temperature the temperature is lower during the winter and higher during the uh, summer period the normal way assembly the pressure and other charts are over here right and if you see visibility uh, that other visibility is one other variable that we'll be using it's it's kind of having the same pattern across uh, most of the most of the year right so we are going to see whether visibility and uh, temperature right causes um, uh, basically is determined in uh, forecasting the variable appliance that's what we are going to see so uh, first i'm going to run a simple correlation test when we have two uh, numerical values within a correlation test right let's see how it uh, performs when you're in a co if you see the correlation test you can see basically the appliances temperature are like slightly uh, 0.21 basically there's no correlation at all and similarly lights and uh, lights and temperature over here as like again close to zero there's no correlation at all now when we talk about normal uh, technique correlation technique it does not understand the order of time right so that's why like we need to test for other mechanism specifically for time series data and for that purpose what i'm doing is i'm going I'm importing two package one is the uh, augmented dickey fuller test package which is used to test if the time series is stationary or not and the second is the granger's causality test package uh, these two are in the stats model library of python now why do we need augmented dickey fuller test is uh, basically uh, in this in this case what we are going to do is we need to check if our time series is stationary right that's the that's the key requirement for Granger's caution it as the ADF test requires uh, to requires to uh, requires the time series to be stationary and we need to test if our time series is stationary if the time series is not stationary what we do is we take a difference of uh, the time series with the lag variables to make it stationary it can be a first order difference or second order difference that's what we do i have covered this uh, about the stationary in my one of my previous videos you can go and check which is in the time series course uh, so in this case first thing i'm going to check if my uh, if my time series is stationary right if it's not stationary then I need to do something but let me quickly check it out so the null hypothesis for ADF test is like the series uh, the time series that we are giving it poses a union root and hence it's not stationary right and the alternate hypothesis is the series is stationary so I am using the Adam uh, that uh, ADF test and then basically I am um, passing the temperature variable over here and then I am printing the test statistics so basically it will give a p-value if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 that is the null hypothesis that means the time series is not stationary and that's what our null hypothesis is but the alternate hypothesis is our uh, if it's less than 0 0.05 then it's the series is stationary so let me run it for the temperature variable first and see if the series is stationary or not and yes it is stationary so we don't have to do any uh, data handling we can directly pass this to our uh, Granger's causality test right now coming to the Granger's causality test. So what Granger's causality test is, it, it says whether the, the variable X of T that we are having 
does not causes y of t and typically the word that we use is basically when we talk about causation it's a it's 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 a different uh, concept altogether right you go into cause and effect of a variable which is hard to do in real world and that's why like we typically use the word granger causes y of t right that is the uh, that is a null hypothesis the alternate hypothesis is it basically the the variable uh, x of t causes y of t in this case the temperature might cause the appliance usage to spike up uh, in in this case the temperature might cause the pollutants to spire pollutants to go higher right if we are measuring air pollutants so that's what it is so for that very first thing i need to do how much lag i want to compare my time series if you are, if you see on the top basically what we are doing is we are comparing comparing that x of t at a previous lag causes y of t in a future right so we need to determine how much lag we need to go we can go 20 lakhs 30 lakhs 40 lakhs depending on our domain scenario right but in this case i am going to check for 4 lakhs right that's why what i have done is i have given max lags as 4 and then i am calling this test I am passing the appliance variable which is my y variable first and then the temperature output which is the second variable as uh, second. Remember the order is very important because a temperature can cause appliance usage to spike but an appliance usage if uh, might not be able to cause a temperature to spike right. So it's not like the correlation which is two way. Here x can cause y but y might, might cannot cause x right so that's why the order is important so that's what i'm doing i'm passing both of it and i'm passing the max max log and getting the results right so once i run this uh, okay sorry i didn't run the max logs max lags let me run this and let me run this and then i have the results over here now the results has too much uh, so in this case what i am going to do is i'm just going to uh, take a few selected variables now the way this works is basically it runs a series of t test and f test on lagged variable of x that could basically and to check whether there's statistical significance or not it runs a chi square test or it runs a f test i'm going to take the f test alone and check basically if if this particular variable that you see over here uh, that is a p value and see what is the p value right and if you see the statistical output is null hypothesis does not cause and basically um, alternate hypothesis it causes y of t so if the p value is less than 0 0.05 then it then x causes y if the p value is greater than 0 0.05 then it does not care causes y right so i'm what i've done is i created a uh, function which i where i am reading the results object and i am just taking the f test output and then I am basically iterating for each lag, right? It will basically give me an array of values and I am checking for each lag what is the output. So if you see here for each lag, I get 0 0.0, which is way less than 0 0.05, uh, which, which is going to be our significance level that we have used, right? You can use any significance level, but I'm going to use with the, go with the default like 0 0.05 significance level. Now, in this case, it's less. That means the variable uh, temperature uh, or basically the output, uh, the variable uh, temperature in this case rather causes the appliance usage to spike, right? So that with the temperature variable is important to model. So we can keep it as part of our model, right? That's, that's what we come into conclusion. We are also going to check whether temperature causes lights uh usage to spike right and i'm running the same test with the same variable and i'm just going to see the p value how it is right in this case if you see the p value uh it's again uh the the first lag is less than 0 0.05 the second lag is less than but after that it's close to it so up to three lags Yes, uh, a temperature causes lights, but beyond that, it does not. So if you're going for a higher law, a lag, you can basically conclude that temperature output is uh, does not cause light so usage to spike. Otherwise, it, it causes it to spike, right? And again, these are all like a probabilistic test, right? You you need to use your domain knowledge as well. This will just give you, uh, give you kind of an indication. It will not give you a conclusion. Any statistical test is that way. Right. So just use it and apply your domain knowledge to see if that figure, that variable is important or not. Right. The next one, what I'm going to check is the visibility. 
right now say i want to model visibility and temperature uh, to forecast uh, appliance i I'm, I'm checking now whether visibility in this case causes the appliance usage to spike so let me run the same thing all the things are similar to what i explained in the previous step and now if you see the p value is greater than 0 0.05 in all the lags that means we can uh, confidently conclude that uh, the null hypothesis is true the visibility does not cause appliance usage to spike and we can we can ignore that variable from our uh, time series modeling all right the the next one i'm going to check in this case what i'm going to do is i said like x causes y but y need not cause x just just to make sure that okay why need not cause x what i'm just uh, doing is uh, uh, i'm switching the order of it i am telling whether appliance cause the temperature output right uh, again it's like uh, the chicken and egg situation right whether uh, the egg the chicken came from the egg or uh, egg came first or whatever it is right so i just want to make sure the other way is that so that's why I've just put it, but this, this is just for showing it. Uh, in case if you want to check bidirectional uh, cause and effect, you can use it. Bidirectional causation, you can use it. Otherwise, you can just ignore this one. So I'm just running it and I'm just printing the output. And you can see like most of these are greater than 0.05. Uh, the first one is 0.0 because first lag typically uh, you tend to ignore. Uh, there is high probability that both might be same when when the other direction it's true. So, but if you see it's greater than point five, we can say like okay, appliances usage does not spike temperature output, right? And according to this data set, the, there 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 are maybe cases when a manufacturing industry and appliance is emitting a lot of gas and it it's bringing global warming and everything. There are a lot of other factors can contribute to it. It is all based on this data element. Right. So basically what we have done is we are using the Granger's causality test to determine whether one time series is useful in forecasting the other time series. Right. There are two important things. The cause happens prior to the effect. Right. And that's what we see on the top. The cause happens prior to the effect of the second variable. Right. That is the first part. The cause has unique information. In this case, the cause has unique information about the future value of its effect. Right, so that's the two thing uh, needs to be true for Granger's causality test, and that's what we are testing over here, and that's about it. Thank you.